Hi, Jose. Hey. Um, a point gained or, or two dropped, considering you led for a, a vast proportion of the match. And how much were you undone by, in the end, the goalkeeper was in inspired form for Palace? Can, can you repeat, please? Yeah, was it one point gained today or two dropped? And how... how just talk about the Palace yeah, goalkeeper. Yeah, yeah. You kept your address. Yeah, we can look at it in two different perspectives. Uh, we have one more point than three hours ago. So we add the point, but at the same time, you play two in three points. You get only one, you lose, you lose two. But uh, if I look to the game, I would split the first half where, um, of course, the feeling is we have to win it. So we lost two points, but then comes uh, 30 minutes in the second half where um, they deserve to get the equalize. And then in that perspective, you accept because it's quite fair. And then in the last 10 minutes again, we should win it. So you get the feeling of uh, you drop two. Okay, Jonathan Veal. Hi there, Jose. Um, Gareth Bale wasn't in the squad today. I don't understand his hill. Is that a serious illness or will he be okay for Liverpool? No, oh, he was ill. Um, but of course, of course, not COVID and, and not even uh, one of these flus that keep you in bed for a, for a week. Uh, I believe that for Wednesday, you will be fine. Next, we got to Jeremy Langdon. Hi, Jose. How um, disappointing was the Palace equaliser and do you attach any blame to your goalkeeper? My goalkeeper is the best goalkeeper in the Premier League. So I would never, I would never be critic of the best goalkeeper in the Premier League. Period. Um, if I have to blame anybody, I have to blame ourselves, the team, uh, the ones that that win, the ones that that uh, draw, and the ones that lose. Uh, some guys, they have the philosophy of uh, they lost. We drew and I won, but that's not us. Uh, us is everything is about is about us. Um, at half time, I told the players exactly the opposite that we did in the second half. But if they didn't, it was because they couldn't do it. It was because they were not able to do it. I give credit to Paz for that. Um, I always say uh, that even if you want to press high, if the ball is in the air, you cannot press. There is nothing to press. So they put the ball in the air. They start putting the ball in the box and creating lateral free kicks and uh, corners and uh, rebounds. So the goal could arrive. Like, uh, like it did. So we have to blame ourselves for not being able to to do what we did in in the first half. In the last period of the game, a reaction, of course, a reaction, a very good reaction, uh, and then the goalkeeper made a couple of amazing saves, and that's it. Okay, you got a chance, yeah, Fushin. Joseph, you mentioned there the players kind of not panning out as you'd said at half time. What were your instructions and and, and why do you think then it, it was such a different game? It looked like they my dropped off. My instructions they didn't change from uh the preparation of the game two days ago, yesterday, before the game and the, and that and that half time. This is the kind of game where you need the ball and this is the kind of game where you cannot accept a low block. There are opponents where you have a low block and you can be there for three hours and, and they don't hurt you. There are other opponents like Crystal Palace. When you have a low block, they put the giants in the box. They look for pressure. They look for second balls. They look for rebounds. They look for, uh, for corners, for lateral free kicks. And you cannot accept that. We prepare the team uh, for not to do that in the first half. We did that very, very well. In the second half, we didn't. 
But I don't want to blame the players because the players, they want to do it. If they didn't do it, it was because they couldn't do it. And if they couldn't do it, it was because Crystal Palace in that period was, uh, was very strong. And uh, 20 years ago, 15 years ago, you had a big distance between the quality of the players of the big clubs and the smaller clubs. In this moment, the difference between between the clubs is the dimension of the clubs, but not the quality of the players. The quality of the players is very similar. They have very good players, very experienced players, and they create us problems. Okay, last question from David Facey. Jose, there was a period of about 40 minutes in the middle of the match where you didn't have a single attempt on goal. Do you think your players perhaps didn't try hard enough for the second goal that would probably have made the points safe? I want to admit that they they couldn't. I want to admit that they didn't have that capacity. Um, some of my, let's say, build-up players, they, they lost a lot of passes. Uh, in the first phase of the build-up, in the second half, we were not uh, very accurate. So I want to admit that if we didn't, it was because we couldn't. Hey guys, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.